relationships. But you're wrong. Abby, why only, uh, why mostly Latino men, out of curiosity? I lived in Argentina and I, like, I did an exchange program there when I was in high school. Like Hilaria Baldwin. That's how they... Like, like Hilary Baldwin. That's why I, that's why I made that video about Hilary Baldwin because it, it, I felt it shook me because I was like, I Wait, explain, explain the yeah. video. Cause for the fans okay. who don't know. The so video. Hilary Baldwin, AKA Hilary Baldwin, <laughs> Alec Baldwin's uh, wife, Alec Baldwin's wife. Um, I, I didn't really know much of her, but I kind of vaguely thought of her as like some exotic foreign woman that so you know, had I. an accent. So right? did I. Yeah. And I so it comes out Spanish. last week that she's, she's from actually, Boston. She's from Boston, born and raised. Her name's Hillary Baldwin. She's it, her parents are not Spanish or Spanish immigrants. Her parents are born and raised in the U.S. Sounds white is white. white. She went to like a sixty thousand dollar a year private school, like growing up in high school. But her family would like vacation in Spain. So she learned the language really well. And then apparently she kind of knew that Alec had a soft spot for Latin women when he tried to hit on Selma Hayek and was shut down. Okay. And Hilaria just kind of like played up this accent and wooed him. And there's interviews where he think where he talks about her making giving an accent. There's interviews of her where she doesn't remember certain words in English and has a very strong. Oh, she, so she straight goes all in like she's all in like I, I, I am. Um, I what's the word for this flower what's in the, English? What's the uh, chick on Modern Family? Sofia Vergara. Um, Sophia Vergara. Wanna, she, oh no, I know. Yeah. Oh, you're going to eat all the avocado. Yeah. I would love to see Sophia on her on her break, just being like, "What's up, guys." Nah, mm-hmm. She probably like, hey guys, how are you? Like, uh, so brutal. I I love I love an accent. I actually used to say that I. So I the reason why I related to Hilaria. First of all, she like bamboozles the whole world for ten years. I She's thought like, she was. I thought she was Spanish, and I. Oh I mean, gosh, was, she was kidding. She says it in, in interviews. She's like, my family's from Spain. I'm from Spain. Like, oh, she so she lies about everything she altogether. Just, like, lies about it. That's or, like, so crazy. <laughs> very bizarre. And then she. Oh yeah, she talks about like how crazy her wedding is going to be because her family's from. It's her Boston family. So well, I just crazy. I was I was going to drink a nice IPA. Yeah, and get a whole oh, Also, and have all a their hoagie. kids, they have five kids together. They all have like eight were eight name names. You know, it's like uh, Eduardo so Lorenzo uh, de la Cabrera. It's like all these different. But she did. So here's a weird Patty. part about her was like she speaks Spanish. So they learned Spanish. Yeah. Right. And she does speak Spanish with a Spanish accent. Yeah. And so even I like my family it's is Rachel Ecuadorian. Dulles, say, of a, of Rachel Latinos. Dulles, then, yeah. Yeah. But I speak I speak perfect Rachel Spanish. Rodriguez. Like people think that I'm from Argentina. But if they're like, where are you from? I'll be like Rochester, fucking New York. And, Por, and then it's like, it's ¿por cool. Qué? <laughs> Porque hablo también. Porque me comí muchos argentinos. I only know, <laughs> I only know one good sentence is, uh, okay. what is it? Te quiero comer la empanada. Do, te quiero, uh, te quiero. Who doesn't love empanadas? I forgot it. Never mind. Say it, say it. it. We want to hear it. Por favor, Dante. Me, te quiero pasar mi lengua por todo su cuerpo. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would. I, 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 yeah. I want to drag my tongue all over your body or ass? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want to rub. I want to. Yeah, that's how you say it. Te paso yeah. la lengua por todo el cuerpo. How many times did Dante use that that it finally learned? You know how you only <laughs> learn something like you only learn the word baño oh, after baby. like. Bing, 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 bing. He did it like you Kobe, really a thousand quick. shots. <laughs> I think you learn really quickly in the sexual context or in the romantic context. Sure, because you got it. And plus, you know, the the intent. Yo, from now on, I'm doing guns when I get a good joke in. All right. Just so y'all know. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Very Sarah Palin. This is why people have to watch the YouTube feed, by the way. Man School <laughs> 202 on YouTube, because otherwise you miss the finger guns and then you just think he sounds <laughs> crazy i don't like, like that. a lunatic i feel like andre's being judgmental about my finger guns <laughs> or he I fell am. asleep i don't like your finger guns or harry's pew, watch pew, 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 pew. you don't like my watch what's pew, the problem pew, pew, with my watch that. how dare what do you i thought you were gonna say i thought dante you were gonna say you were gonna only do finger guns 
when you say that line to women. Te paso la lengua. Mm -hmm. lengua the and then right afterwards, you go, pew, pew, pew. And then That's she how we, I've, he, I've eaten with Dante like, at a oh Mexican God, restaurant. I think I it's love a, you. <laughs> I've gone to restaurants with Dante. It's quite embarrassing. That's how he finishes ordering <laughs> salsa verde. And then he does the that, finger guns. Pew, 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 pew. I think it's good to have a signature move. I don't have one yet. So I'm not going to hate on the finger mm -hmm. guns. But you made a great uh, video parody of because she did it like an apology where she kind of glossed over some of the things. Things. Oh, the fact well, that she uh, yeah. the fact that she lied to everybody. She did say I oh, it was so funny, though. She's like <laughs> she's like, I am born in Boston. So basically, it, it, the whole thing came out because she did some video where she didn't have an accent anymore. And everyone was uh, like, hey, where'd your accent go? Uh, and then there was this whole blow up on Twitter where like all her childhood high school friends were like, Hillary never had an accent. Right. She doesn't like what's the deal? And so uh, she came out and addressed it. And the video to me was so silly because she just kept saying like things needed to be clarified, but she didn't. Now, did clarify. she do it in a Spanish accent? No, it was less. <laughs> it was in a more of an more of an American accent. But she said things like people want to know where I'm born. I am born in Boston or I'm born. In, it's like saying it in a way that sounds like you know, English is not your first his language. Was, his was crazy about that. Like, what was her? What was her thing before? Like, was she an actress before? Uh, That's a good question. I think she was a dancer. Dancer and, and aerobic instructor. And like now she's here's, a, here's a crazy trainer. thing. And I say this all the time. I say this about about dudes all the time. Like if a guy lies to you, like if a guy is five, four and he you ask him how tall he is and he says five, six. The reason why he's lying to you is because he doesn't think that what he has is enough. It needs to be inflated in order to match where the deal is sealed. So in your mind, when somebody mentions that, it shows a level of insecurity simply because they're lying about it. So in my mind, like here's this chick who was, I guess she was an accomplished dancer or whatever, but that wasn't good enough. It was only good enough for her to look, be perceived as this, as this, uh, uh, Latino woman who was so from a distant place who was exotic being from Boston wasn't good enough and so she created a whole her whole life is this lie that she's perpetuated ultimately she gets caught in, in, in the same sense but so now where's her value now when it was it was attached to this stupid accent and this fucking lie I mean, I, I get it. I can relate to that. Like, who, who wants to be a boring white girl from a suburb? You know what I mean? I think that's why I related so much to this story. I was like, because I, I went and did an exchange program. I learned this beautiful new language. I'm so much more cultured than where I came from. Everyone else where right. I came from is just like boring and whatever, nine to five. And I'm like, you know, it's cool, but... Dating wise, now you're doing something on Instagram that I found real fascinating too. That yeah, I, I want to talk, talk about. about this. Yeah, it's so is this, she's st Abby. You started like uh, during this quarantine thing. You are uh, you're not seeing somebody at the moment, or at least the last I was yeah. saw on Instagram. And so, oh you're my kind god, of that sounds so loony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, is that Hilaria Baldwin? <laughs> Do we have Hilaria Baldwin on the show? <laughs> She's oh standing goodness. behind Andre in the corner. <laughs> Um, so you what guys are making fun of me. <laughs> you know what? I, on. Your, I do feel bad. Can I just say I don't like I don't like to be mean just gratuitously. I think what it just. Anyways, oh, with the I found, I found it interesting. You mean? Yeah, that I didn't. Was I didn't it was want worth parroting. And if anyone wants to see the video, they should go see Abby. Uh, go on like her Instagram. If somebody fakes being somebody, you can. Yeah, you can let them have guys, it. Let that shit blame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it blame. You're going to say live and blaze at the same and, uh, time. Got, let, let it blame. Let it blame. Let it blame. You man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.